Well, good day there, boys and girls. Welcome back to another episode of Trap Lines and Inlines. There is a lot to get done here, guys, around bush camp, and there sure isn't very much time to get it done. It's gonna be winter here right away. And guys, it looks like I'm not gonna be spending my fourth winter in the bush. I'm kind of taking on something huge here. We're taking on a big project, friends, and it kind of involves me moving my whole homestead here. Now, bear with me, friends. Let's explain this a little later on in the video when it makes more sense and when we have more time. <laughs> Check this out. I brought up this here is a pretty snazzy piece of equipment. Uh, it's gonna work damn good. I had to fix it all up. I put all brand new tires, or used tires, but new ones. A couple new rims, new hydraulic lines. Yeah, it's got a tilting deck. And uh, what I'm gonna do here, we're gonna back up to the building, tilt her down, load her up. Hopefully we can get her winched on, no too much trouble. I'm gonna start with the chicken coop here. It's the least consequential. Move up to the workshop. And by the time I get to the cab, and hopefully I have enough experience that I don't tip it over because that thing's damn top heavy and that's what I'm worried about. We gotta move all this firewood. We gotta move all this shit. I got shit over there. Move the shedders, solar panels, everything. There's a lot of stuff here to move. Okay, let's fire her up. Okay, I got her rigged up. Let's see how she'll go. I, I don't know. We're gonna learn here real quick. I want that pulley higher, but it is what it is. Around. We're smooth sailing now, partner. Let's pull this baby on there. Doing this wrong. It's not quite pulling how I want it to. I'm pulling this thing up the wrong way is what's happening. You know, I learned a couple of things the hard way here. Shit, I had to throw her in high gear there for a second, even see her. even now she wants to tip, but I got right to it. Got her situated. Okay, we'll just pull her over. Getting to that point in my life where I got so many damn tools, I start forgetting what I got. <laughs> I got this ratchet strap on there in a pinch, but this eight ton cable puller is the tool for the job here. Come on, baby. I got that strap just singing yippee ki yay now. We can multiply or add force right on top of that. By prying on it. Did we 
get her done, boys? Well, going good, I tell ya. Got her on there, she's on there good. I would do a lot differently, but that's why I started with this one. It's a big ass strap, it's like I need 50 footers, especially if I intend to get my cabin up there. Jesus, Murphy, that's gonna be something. But I need big ass heavy duty straps, a lot of them. The ones I have aren't near long enough. Let's mosey on into town, kill two birds with one storm, hit up McDonald's so we don't have to cook neither, and fuck that's man. Well, I ended up dropping 230 bucks. Uh, there was some toe straps on sale and we'll get we needed them I'll show you why and these big 40 footers on sale 25 bucks. They're 10,000 pounds. They're Ericsson I don't know if they're the totally best ones But I have a few of them already and they seem to be all right and I got some shorter ones, too So that should get her strapped on there good now <laughs> These straps look to be about exactly looks like I exactly got what I need kind of deal for this one anyway, I'm just throwing them right over the shingles, you know, it's a chicken shed, you know, shit. Who cares? I ain't gonna like throwing these straps over the tin roof, and they sure as hell ain't gonna reach over my cabin. I don't know what the hell I'm gonna do, to be honest, but... I'm gonna be pretty damn worried about loading that cabin. It's so damn high. That's going to be the tricky as shit to move. I'm a little worried I'm going to end up tipping the damn thing over, but we'll see what happens. And we got to get her done before it's icy and snowy, or this this definitely going to slide off the damn thing, hey? Shit. It's not near as easy as it seems. You think even with this nice, this is a real nice tool for the job, being able to tilt it down, but still, even pulling them on straight, they want to slide and act silly. And this road, man, we got a lot of miles to take these buildings. It's rough as shit. Like, it's through the bush, for fuck's sake. And when I do it with my cabin, which is like 17 feet high, like, this is just going to be a lot of work. We're going to be working day and night, and night to get this done. And I want it all done so I can get cutting logs and get building our log home here, friends. She looks pretty good. Okay, well, let the old tractor warm up here. I strapped it to the bottom so the rack can't tip. You know what I mean? Like, right to the bottom. I put a couple across the skid. Anyway, fuck my tire today, though. Fire up a strong coffee, let the old tractor warm up, make a mile. That's better. I'm getting pretty worried. I was worried about getting that damn thing loaded, but I'm I'm gonna be worried about tipping that fucking cabin over. <laughs> Fuck. It's got, got lots of sharp little hills and big old rocks. Fuck. Okay, so I actually got a beauty little fucking spot here. Like it's a really a nice spot. I still got lots of bush here. Hey friends, moving closer to my logs and setting up my workstation here for the winter, but. Yeah, you know, I still got lots of bush, lots and lots of bush, but it ain't nothing like the bush I'm coming out of. <laughs> that is the bush, like the fucking bush. This is a bush, you know, there's a big difference and that's gonna take a lot of getting used to, partner. 
Yeah, actually, I didn't think... I'm pretty versatile, you know. I've moved around in my a lot in my life. Done a lot of... The fuck? Done a lot of different things. So, I didn't think it would be too much of a change. I've been in the bush a lot longer than I realized. And this is going to hit me a lot more than I fucking realized. So we'll see how that goes. <laughs> but I'll tell you one thing for damn sure, partner, it's that I'm a long ways from done with bush life. I think it's so damn deep in my DNA at this point, it's just gonna be there forever. I think I'm gonna be missing cabin life in the bush here in about fucking two sleeps or <laughs> out of the bush, man. And fuck, we want to move my cabin back up there, but this is deadly too. The, see, the thing is, anyway, being sentimental don't do us fuck all good, but what does us fuck all good is getting this thing unloaded. Okay, you can see here, I'm gonna rip this tree over. The skid's catching. I ain't got nothing to jack it up. I got it, the, that tree braced to there, so I don't uproot it. I'm not gonna break it, I'm gonna end up uprooting it though. These skids should be perpendicular. I'm getting hung up. It was the wrong move, but we're learning. Tore up a couple skids a little bit from that. It's all minor. Anyway, it's caught there. I hooked the strap right to there. Hopefully we can pop it out and the fuck out of here. Get on to the next thing. <laughs> oh fuck yeah, I got it. Didn't think I did. <laughs> Mint, hey, that's good level ground too. Hardly have to, hardly have to level that. Maybe should have been a little bit smoother on the dismount, but I mean, fuck it. See, that's the thing. When I head it parallel, I'm getting the. It's riding on the on the plywood underneath. Whereas if it was perpendicular, it would only be on the skids. Okay, let's head her back. It's uh, middle of the night here. I was driving up here earlier today with the tractor, didn't have any tools to do this. And I seen this little calf moose, he's stuck in the fence. We're not gonna fuck around here on the camera two foot long. Just figuring out what I'm trying to do here. His foot's wrapped up in two wires. I'm gonna drive up there and cut them. And then we're gonna fix the fence. And it's the middle of the night, so this fucking thing better not hoof me. I'm gonna get up there, yeah, I'll show you. Moves better be friendly. Ain't the first time I've had to do some shit like this, I tell you, partner. Okay, poor little bastard, you know, I figured fuck. Might as well give him a better second chance at life. Uh, top wire is broken. We'll cut the second one, start with that. It only took me two seconds to get the camera set up. Don't worry, I'm not being a dick. This has got so much fucking pressure on it. 
Easy, easy. Okay. I think he's actually loose. Uh, it's just kind of caught around his dew claw on the bottom wire. Might take him a minute to get off here. Let's see if I can snap it. Don't hook me though, you fucker. I'm trying to help. Okay, go on up. He's free, but his foot's going to be a little sore here. He's looser now. Doesn't seem to want to come to. Maybe, maybe doesn't realize he's loose, to be honest, neither. Either that or he just died of shock. I've seen some shit like that happen. But it's just a little calf, eh? Um, that bottom wire's kind of caught in his leg. Maybe I can... Grab it and fuck around with it. Okay, Moose, you can go far. Get going. Oh, yeah. Had to fire up the old 12 valve to get him to go, boys. He's off. Fuck yeah. Looks like he'll be probably a little bit low on circulation there in the old back leg, but fuck. There he goes, boys. Can you see him? And he's off, boys. Fuck yeah. Got Buddy's fence tuned up too. We don't want the cows out now, do we? And they were gonna be out with that moose in there twisted up. So I think he's actually damn well gonna make it. But shit, he sure wasn't gonna if he stayed there too much longer. Wolves would have had him. Bears, coyotes, birds. Nasty business. Hey, that's a success. Might feel good for the week or something. Off we go, shit to do. Okay, let's get this workshop moved and then we'll graduate with a cabin. <laughs> okay, so same size as this building nearly. It's a bit bigger, a lot more difficulties. The big thing here is, but we do got deadly skids on it. Some big, big telephone poles is what they are. They're gonna work slick. Had to get all my shit out from under there. All I got left to do now is unhook the solar, take the battery out or it'll tip over and leak. See, that's the problem. You wanna see a fucking disaster. H. Murphy. Okay, what I didn't want to have happen here is stuff on the shelves coming down because that's when it's going to break. But none of this shit is going to break sitting on the floor. It's just not going to go through too much trauma. A lot of stuff like I don't want tacks. I don't want electrical connectors in here. I don't want a pail of nails in here to tip over and, and, and fall over because that's where I'm going to lose my time. All this shit should be okay. I was proud of this idea. Instead of fucking around with undoing this stove and all this shit, I just blocked the ratchet straps into the ground, strapped her down, took the glass out of it, because that should be done no matter how you move the stove over this rough shit. And then I've supported the chimney here with ratchet straps, because if I, I'm probably gonna hit against some trees, I don't wanna tear it out, etc. Man, I sure worked the old 12 valve pretty hard, eh? See the wood pile, all this shit's in the road to get in there. It's not super flat here anyway. I don't want that, you know, like this this thing, it's gotta be flat, otherwise the building's gonna slide when I try and pull it. So I'm gonna drag it out to where about my truck is. hard on the old truck she was stuck in the stuck in the foundation i should have just hooked it to the tractor but you know sometimes a guy just wants shit done
Now the door won't close. It did, it's rocking back and forth. Hopefully it closes when we get there though. It goes a lot easier when this is level and the rock is level. It does not take much and this thing will fucking slide. And then it's, you gotta, ugh, it's ugly. Uh, we're decently level. Top could, front could come up a bit. Anyway, but see now, now I got her off the ground. Should be able to get it started. If I get that first, first one started, it's gonna go a lot smoother. If I try to pull it with the, on those stumps, it ain't going at all. Well, damn good day. Had a lot else on the go today. Had to tend to other than this building moving, but sitting around the fire, getting the dinner fired up here, cook some deadly stir fry, and have a beer to celebrate the day. Now, if you thought the old mill was deadly, old son, you should check out the mountain crest. This is a whole different kind of story. <laughs> you gotta be a whole different kind of bush to drink these fucking things. But they're cheap as shit. Pretty chilly out here this morning. <laughs> I got it rigged up. Toe straps all the way around. Cause like this thin rope can pull right through the wood, eh? I got a two to one mechanical advantage with two pulleys here. I'm worried about snapping my deadly rope. I need it for log skidding. I can't fucking break it. I don't want to. So I doubled it up and then I don't even think my truck would pull this thing on. I think it would lose traction. It is heavy and it's got a lot more weight than I realize uh, with tools and, and just a lot of shit in there. So I gotta be careful. Um, if these things break, they go flying. I just about took out the back window there when that strap broke. Hope that doesn't happen again. I'm so mad guys, this damn camera died right when I pulled it on. It went so damn slick, like the slickest I was fired up here. God damn it guys. Sometimes I get fired up here in the morning and I'm so excited about the day that I, I, I get rushed and make mistakes. I broke a strap this morning, uh, a little one, but it's no big deal, it was like a $5 strap. You'll see here, the damn camera died. I'm so mad about that, guys. That was honestly like the coolest thing I've ever done, pulling this thing onto the wagon. It just went so slick with that two pulleys on there. Whoa, that was deadly. Then I got fired up, had to get into the tractor, but see, I get running around here too silly. I was rushing, I let that strap sit down and I ripped that bottom board right off. It was rotten anyway, you'll see it in the video. I'll just put a new one, but that was poor management. And I should add a little more juice in this camera because it fucks around when it's cold. Man, that was slick. Yeah, a guy needs a good solid strap around there and definitely two pulleys. Otherwise, it would have broke my rope. See, I ripped this one out. See, it was rotten, this board. That's why I put the new floor into it. See, it was rotten. But I let the strap slip. Like, I just gotta do better, you know? See, on this tin roof, the ridge cap's a problem because if I bet, go over it, I might be able to strap it down, but I'm just gonna bend the hell out of it. So I gotta get up, up there and underneath the ridge cap. Working pretty good here. Okay, so we'll go do some acrobatics on the roof here. I can just slide it right underneath. 
Fuck, there's a beauty view up here, man. It's just such a beauty morning. <laughs> Okay. Couldn't ask for a more beautiful day. And we got our we got our good. Five of these straps is lots. Saved the ridge cap a little hard on that drip edge partner, but fuck. This is a get shit done building. And a building with a lot of character too, eh? What a beauty building. I threw two around the skids too. Getting some bacon and eggers going. See, this is a sharp little hill. There's no way, this is, I can't go that way. This is too sharp. It's it's not tippy, but it's straight down and it's really gonna put that on an angle. I'm gonna have to take it all the way over there, around it down, and that's what this is, is driving it around a lot of this ugly shit. It's slow going. I thought the stupid prick died again on me. I was coming out with the battery. <laughs> the road partner that's how long it took me to get that out of the bush but I'm happy to see the road anyway it's smooth sailing from here hopefully we can get her unloaded too before dark but we're on no daylight guys I think that's the moose we saved right there is the moose we saved <laughs> fuck yeah well we made her beauty
guys, that's totally A1. Like it's 110% A1. Now we're setting up our building site, hey? Now look at how beautifully flat this ground is here. It's beautiful for our building site, especially if we're lifting logs and we're setting up our shell right here. You don't want tippy ground, it's gonna be beautiful. I really like the shelter here. It's a really a nice secluded spot. The wind ain't gonna hit it. It's really gonna be nice. with it for a while and in the end I just changed my mind. I want the big two windows in the front facing the south that just makes it so much more lighting and my panels aren't silly either. Okay, so I just had these four posts to put my solar panels, but I wasn't quite sure. Like, I might want to move this around a bit. Lots unsure, and I probably will have to move it again. So I thought it would be a lot easier here just to make it into a stand than have the posts. So I just put board and got some triangular bracing there so it don't rack. And uh, it's hooked up already. Had some scrap wire, got lots of lead on there. Yeah, but sure is a beauty spot here too, guys. And it's really nice and sheltered. It is in a dip, so there's a bank on the other side too. And uh, like it's really windy today, but still we're doing not too pretty bad here. Unloaded my mill station, all that shit I brought up. And I finally got through this. This was a lot of work and it kind of sucks. You're just setting everything back up the way it was again, but Nothing got broken, everything's mint, and uh, glad that's done. Okay friends, so here's the deal. Like the first half of our move has went so exceptionally well. Like I couldn't even have asked it to go any better. Now this is gonna be part one in the Moving the Homestead series. You know, this is, this is actually really the important part is to have my workstation set up here so I can work all winter at our big log home project. Uh, that we're planning to do right here. My logs are right here and I want to bring them here. Nice flat ground, build the shell here over the winter. Now, I would really love to have my cabin out here because then everything is in one place and it's just gonna be beautiful, man. Having everything right there and a beautiful work site here. But I'm worried about that cabin and moving it. I think it's so high, it's gonna be tippy. It's gonna, it's so top heavy. I'm worrying about it collapsing. So uh, if there's a part two to this series, that's what we'll be doing. But I'm interested in what you guys think about moving that, how I'm doing it. Like uh, any tips, if you think I should even try it or if it's gonna be too top heavy and I'm just gonna tip it over, collapse it. Any, any recommendation, that'd be great. But anyway, friends, I hope everyone's doing just great. Off to the next one we go, keeping her busy.